We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Minnesota Twins. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Ready on one and two. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Gotta love the battle we're seeing right out of the gates in this game. That's seven pitches now, and if this is any indication, we're in for a good contest here. Another full count pitch home. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton will wait on it. And he's got it for the first out. Stepping in for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Next to bat for Toronto, Lourdes Gurriel, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. The pitch. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Garver gathers. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. Digging in, Luis Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. The next twin up for him, Polanco. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. The 1 1. Line drive to center field. McKinney is there, two gone. Into the box, Nelson Cruz. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. The three and one pitch. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball. Now with two away. The designated hitter, Miguel. 1-1 uh, one, one home. Cruz, the runner at first with two gone. Out of play. Working for the punch out and the offering. Chopped on the ground to first. Reined in. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. the Toronto number four hitter to Oscar Hernandez the season batting average comes in down in the 240s here now the 2 2 and obviously this guy's a double threat up there he can run and he can go yard too you don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard so it was a swinging strike three to Oscar Hernandez goes quietly leading off the second this is skied into short left center. Polanco takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Randall Grichuk at the plate now. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Drilled on the ground is short. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Got it. 
seven. The catcher. Number ten. Standing in now, Reese McGuire. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Hernandez is there and he makes the catch for the out. Up next for Minnesota, Mitch Garver. He begins playing this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Eddie Rosario. His lifetime batting line against Chase Anderson. Two hits in seven tries. He's taken him deep once. Fastball close but he didn't get it two and one. A little early and now it's even at two and two. Full count now three and two. Max Kepler would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Swing and a soft liner. Throw in time and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway and in to hit next the speedy Billy McKinney. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Now here's the pitch. Yep, that ball went out. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And that's through for a hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Batting not the second baseman. Kevin. At the plate, Kevin Biggio. All even now, two and two. As a look, now the pitch. So a full count now. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Chasing after it is Rosario. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Hit in the air out to center field. Buxton will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So now one away in the Toronto third. 44. And that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. Hit hard on the ground to first. Scooped up. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So coming to the plate, Max Kepler as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1-1 one -one home. It's a fastball that misses. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty two and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2. Pitch popped up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. 
Stepping in, Luis Arias. Second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home first. On the ground to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Two and two. Full count, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Line drive to left. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. The bat, number 13, shook off. Mortis Guriel. At the plate now, Mortis Guriel. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. To first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings, and there are two away now. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat, and it misses three and one now. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. Bailey with a look at first, and a dive, but he's back in. A 1 1 home. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Striding in once again, Jorge Polanco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A ball and two strikes to the now twin shortstop. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. The one two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. So one away now. Here's Nelson now Cruz. The right Bases are empty. Yes, one man. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. And two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Ready with another 2-2. Hit sharply on the ground. A dive, and he knocks it down. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. Now batter, third baseman. To the plate now, Josh Donaldson. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. 
And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Now batting, Rendell Gritchick, a base hit in his first trip. Fouled away. Ready on one and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Striding into the box, Reese McGuire. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Reese McGuire goes down for out number two in the top half. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. To two and two now. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Pitch is popped up. Donaldson shading to his right. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Standing in, Mitch Garver. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. A 1-1. Hit hard up the middle. Throw on to first in time, one away. At the plate, Eddie Number Rosario. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1 1. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. McKinney's there for it. Two down. Digging in now, Max Kepler. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here now the 2 2. Ball called strike three and the side is retired. Ready for another chance. Kevin Biggio. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1. One, one. It is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. And he'll throw him out from short right field. Nicely done for the first out. One out now in the Toronto sixth inning. And that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. And it's two balls and a strike to the Jays' leadoff batter. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2 2. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw gets him, two down. Ready now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Count is full, here's the pitch. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Now the 2-1. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Now 
now at the plate, Byron Buxton. He's set to lead it off in the Minnesota end of the sixth. So 1 1. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Luis Arias. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Popped him up. Guerrero in foul ground. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Stepping into the box, Jorge Polanco. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ball and two strikes. The count now with the bases empty and two away. Fouled off. Counts even two and two for Polanco. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Now a little pop-up off toward the third base side. Guerrero is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody put something together to try to score a run. And another foul ball. And it's two balls and two strikes now. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Hernandez connects and sends it to deep left. And they have taken the lead. Ladies and gentlemen. New pitcher set to take over now. It's the right-hander Sergio Romo that gets the call. So now to the plate, Bo Bichette. And he got him. Now at the plate, Randall Gritcher. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Randall Gritcher. Two and one. I got two one to count. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. I'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor, he's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. A full count, three and two to Randall Gritchick. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two now men he faces out of the bullpen. To two balls and two strikes now. Just hung in there on that one. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down, and Ladies that and will end the Ladies inning. For the traditional and that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He was a ground out victim last time up. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. The bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. And a good throw gets him one gun. Here's Miguel Sano. A hit in two tries for him so far. One out, nobody on. Oh. 
all over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Here now the 2 2. Is looked at, and the count moves full. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Josh Donaldson digging in now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And a great location that time on the corner. 3 and 2 now. 3 2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. He's one for two in the ball game. Now the one and one pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And it's fouled away. Here's another 2 2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. In now, Kevin Vigio. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now the one and one pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss, strike two. Still two and two. And now a pitch on the way. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Another try at 2 2. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And there are two away now. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Rowdy Tellez. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 1 1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Made him look silly with that one. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three. And they weren't far off. But I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. He's around second now as they're still searching for it out there. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. Now batter, third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. In now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Again, another foul ball. Men on third with two down. Into center field, line drive base hit. And a big RBI there as the run scores to make this a two run game now. Stepping in now, Lourdes Guriel. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. He's fallen behind now, three and one. 
Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Cody Stashak will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. To Oscar Hernandez will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. The 1-1. One, one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, line to shortstop. He's there to make the play, and that ends the inning. At the plate, Mitch Garver. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. The one-two. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. McGuire goes to get it, and he yeah. makes the throw to first. Garver is retired, and there's one away. Digging in, Eddie Rosario. Eddie. He flew out in his last at bat. Mario. Line to second, where it's caught there for out number two. Now batter. So Double striding in, man. Max Kepler. Max. Only four outs remaining Kepler. for them to try and rally back in this one. And the count will be full. Line down the left field line. Just foul. The next 3 2. Here's a pop up now. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Bo Bichette. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here now the 2 2. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The 2 2 one more time. Three balls, two strikes. Randall Gritcher waits on deck. And there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Here's Randall Gritchett. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he will make it into third with a one-out triple. The batter, number 10. At the plate, Reese McGuire. Oh, he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. On the move is Rosario. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. And to score is the runner from third. It's a 3 0 game. Coming to the plate now, Billy McKinney. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Popped him up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there, and the inning is over. Ken Giles enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 51. 
Standing in, Byron Buxton. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Giles is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. And there's one gone to start the bottom of the ninth. So striding forward now, Luis Arias. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Here's a little chopper up the middle, reined in. Throw on to first will get him, and the Twins are now down to their final out. Digging in the switch hitter, Jorge Polanco. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Three and one. Nelson Cruz would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Slap hard the opposite way. Hernandez is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, how about that play to end this thing? That's what you call the icing on the cake. Cherry on top of the Sunday! Exclamation point. I love it. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. Toronto jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Chase Anderson earns his eighth victory of the season, allowing only a single hit across eight full innings. Homer Bailey is settled with the loss after giving up only one earned. Ken Giles hammers down the save his 25th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are finalized for tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Twins, no run, just one hit, no errors. They left two men on base. The winning pitcher is Chase Anderson. His record is now...